Yes. Yes. It's you, the Grey Warden. Andraste is mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Dark Swan arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief. Uh, I didn't see anything that I'd call an arch demon. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. What's on your mind?
shall be done. My lord, you're here. Thank goodness. They are both inside with Riordan of the Grey Wardens. I was told he has urgent news and to send out patrols to watch for your arrival. Then we were attacked. I should take you to the hall right away, my lord. It's a relief to see you unharmed, and you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked Redcliff were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. What? Are we sure about that? I mean... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denrim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denrim must be defended at all costs. The Horde must be defeated, but the Archdemon is our true target, and only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. And now Denerim is under assault. Marrying Alistair to Honora would not have been my first choice. Still, so I suppose I owe you thanks, Rodden. All of Ferelden does. We have sent messengers to Orlais. I think it entirely possible, however, that she has written Ferelden off as a lost cause already. Perhaps the Grey Wardens of Orlais will be able to march and reach us in time. We should not rely on their arrival, even so. I wish you luck, Grey Warden, for all our sakes. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men, or haven't they? Eh, stalling. It is as good as a no. House Claret's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally, they are pleading the need for self-defense. <laughs> Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Ah. Evening to you, Grey Wolf. Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the Assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the Dark Spawn all on their own, I suppose? It was our good fortune that you decided to return home when you did, Grey Warden. For all that you needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and...
Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. Yes? Well, here I am. Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Which one? It will come to you soon. I'm... What you need? What about? All right. Aye, all right then. What's on your mind? Hmm. Is something troubling you? You are one of the two surviving Grey Wardens in Ferelden. You defend all of us, and much rests on your shoulders. It may not mean much to you, but thank you for having the courage to continue to fight. And that gives me hope. What is your desire? <laughs> Very well, but I consider this pillow talk. I know little enough at the daily, other than the fact that my mother was one, or so I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. All this tale in the book. How should I know? My mother was a whore, as you'll recall. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. It could have been much worse. Shall I tell you about what happened to the other whorehouse boys who did not fetch a decent price with the crows? Surely your life has not been so idyllic. People like you and I are not the product of happy lives of contentment, after all. <sighs> my original point is that my mother's dalish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. I had to keep them hidden, of course, as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered and I never saw them again. Not at all. I think of myself as Antivan. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But such is life. As you say. There, there you are. Let's go see what the Orden has to say. I await your command. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. I await your... So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> now I have enough time to study Mother's grimoire to find a way to prevent her from stealing my body in the future. For she will be back. One day, I have no doubt of that. And if I cannot protect myself, one day I will track her down again in whatever body she inhabits, and she will die again and again if need be. But there is no need to think of such things now. I have you to thank for saving me, so let us return to the task of dealing with the Darkspawn, no? Let us go. There is much to be done before... There is still much to be done.
You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. You mean there's more to it than just, say, chopping off its head? So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me, have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. We keep it secret for the same reason the Joining is kept secret. And yet, there must be Grey Wardens. Without us, there is no hope. It warms my heart to see such courage. But do not hurry so to sacrifice your life. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the Eldest and the Taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The Blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow, and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon. One way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. It is old magic. From a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some would call it blood magic, but I think that means little to one like you. From Flemeth, of course. I have known about it for some time. I did. Would you have believed me if I had been the one to tell you? I have my doubts. What I propose is this. Lay with me, here tonight, and from our joining, a child will be conceived. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Not at all. It will become something different. A child born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? 
why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. A wise decision. Come to me then, and we shall make this last night together something to remember. We have gathered all the forces we can. The Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough. Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. The man you see beside me is a dwarf. Raised to the ranks of the Grey Wardens, this is not his home. And yet still, he fights with honor and passion. He has survived despite the odds. And without him, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim. Today, we avenge the death of my brother, King Caelan. But most of all, today, we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden, for the Grey Wardens!